friends, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today I have a fun canning project. I've got a whole bunch of celery and I need to preserve it. So I'm going to make some cream of celery soup base and get it canned up and in the pantry. That way I can thicken it and use it whenever I need it for something or just eat it because it's delicious. I have a big bag of celery here so I need to get this used up today. Um, I dehydrated a whole bunch of celery last year, so I don't really need dehydrated celery. So we're just going to go ahead, prep it, and get it canned up. I'll have to pick through it, of course, and take out any bad pieces that are there. But um, there is a lot of celery there, so I'm going to make some delicious celery soup base, cream of celery soup base. So pull a chair up to my counter, and let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do before I get too far into making my big celery mess is to chop up two large onions. They're just yellow onions. I'm gonna get them into my big soup pot with a tablespoon of butter, and then I'm gonna work on celery. Okay, so here are the two onions in my pot. Starting to get soft. If you don't wanna use butter and you wanna use olive oil, you could totally do that. I like butter with my soups. I'm gonna put in six cloves of garlic. Best smell in the world right there, onions and garlic. My onions are sauteing, but here's something I wanted to explain to you. I have gotten questions on this before because I have mentioned that when I make cold salads and I'm eating celery cold that I will peel it. And people are like, how do you peel a celery? Well, celery has so much, so many woody strings, right? You just peel them, peel the outside strings off that way they're a little bit easier to chew. But this is a question I get all the time, like it's so ridiculous to peel a celery. It's not. And I have one bunch of celery already chopped, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And I'm gonna start working on the second one. I have canned plain celery in the past also. So I do have actually a bunch of that left still, but it's soft. But yet, when you bite into it, you can still feel those hard strings if you don't take them out. So I'll let that saute on low. Okay, I've got all of my celery in here. It doesn't look like much, but this is a huge pot. This was eight bunches of celery. That's what was in that bag. Of course, minus the, the pieces that were bad. And minus the tops. The tops I've washed up, I put in the freezer bag, and I save these in my freezer for when I'm gonna make broth. I got two big freezer bags of these. So those are in the freezer. I've cleaned up my mess. Those have been just sauteing, but I'm going to, and they're soft now, so I'm gonna put broth in. I, myself, am going to use water and bouillon. But you can use chicken broth, chicken stock, or chicken um, bone broth. I'm going to turn that up to high. I'm going to put in my chicken bouillon. And then seasonings really depend on what you like in, in your soup or how you like to season it. I would put onion powder and a little garlic powder in here, but I'm out of it. I am going to put half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm also going to put in a teaspoon of parsley. Optional completely. Poultry seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and use about a quarter teaspoon of that. That one can get strong, so. Quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you like other herbs in here, like dill, you could put that in there. Um, whatever herbs you have that you like. I'm not going to thicken it. You can thicken it slightly if you like, and if you do decide to do that, it must be Therm Flow. Um, clear gel is for high acid foods. Therm Flow is for low acid foods that are pressure canned. There's a difference. Okay, I tasted it. It needs salt. So I am going to add two teaspoons of canning salt. 
This is my tablespoon, and three teaspoons is a tablespoon, so I'm not filling it up. I've got about two-thirds. I'm going to taste it one more time and decide what else I need in here. Heck, I'm hoping I have a scoop left over so I can just eat it with my dinner. Okay, so I've got my pints and half pints. Half pints and pints always can for the same amount of time. Okay, everybody's got their rings on and I am added putting everybody in the hot tub. Okay, filled the jars, left one inch head space. Camera did not record it, of course. I have the worst camera problems. One inch head space, make sure you debubble. I've got a mixture of jars in here and I'm using pure lids and I'm using four jars lids. So everybody's in the hot tub. I'm gonna get these guys buckled down and I'll be back. I processed the soup for 60 minutes. Make sure you consult your USDA Complete Guide to Home Canning for your canning times. Okay, everybody is out of the hot tub and sealed. They smell and look delicious. All right, friends, that's all there is to canning your homemade cream of celery soup base. Now, when you heat this up, you're going to need to thicken it with either a cornstarch slurry or make a roux. And then I would put in per for each pint about a quarter cup of heavy cream after you've thickened it. It's so good. I actually did that with the leftover soup. I had about two cups of soup left over that didn't get canned, and we had that with our dinner. And it was so good. I tried to film it for you, but... My camera is finicky. This is the most finicky camera I've ever owned. Um, so, anyway. If you have any experience with Sony cameras or you're an expert at them, give me some advice. Because I, for some reason, can't work this Sony camera very well. <laughs> anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes, including this one. I will leave the recipe link in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.